Hey guys, Strange Pact here. Um, today we're recording. I accidentally started this, but <clears throat> Destiny 2 Beyond Light Find Truth Beyond the Pale. So for those who don't know, Destiny 2 Beyond Light is just around the corner. It is currently 11.25 a.m. here. Um, I believe it will start at 12 or maybe or even later, depending on that. I already pre-downloaded um, Destiny 2, as you can see right here. Um, that will be great because, yeah, that means we get to play it as soon as it comes out. So that will be dope. But anyways, let's jump right into this. <clears throat> There's a tale you might have heard, ages old, of the gifts of light granted by the Traveler. Of the Tower of Darkness brought forth by the Pyramids. And mm -hmm. of yeah, the Elixir. Blessed by the traveler with great prosperity but until it abandoned them. Yeah, we already know this story. This ongoing war between light and dark would bring a similar fate to our doorstep. Humanity's collapse, but in its wake, the birth of guardians. It gifted you with light, a second chance this is, for our kind. This is Aramis speaking. But we were not the only ones seeking second chances. The fallen Elixney came to take our gift, but you defended it, grew strong from it, ever preparing for darkness's inevitable return. And return it has, this time with its own gift, granted to Aramis, oh, the wait, no, survivor no, no, no. of the Elixney's fall. And now, a wielder of darkness against our traveler. None of oh, us will ever escape. We've seen this thing. The, the black between light the black and dark. Um, the black <clears throat> guard the Garden of the Salvation Raid. And also yeah, the end. And wield this dark what gift is ourselves. Our very existence depends on it. Okay, so far first. Available now. Did they tell the date? No, at least they could have done that. But that's alright, whatever. Um <clears throat> so Let's start from the very beginning, right? First, I thought it was um, um, Aramis narrating this, but turns out it's not Aramis. It was um, I think it's actually Stranger who's who's narrating this because by the by the way she says it as a as as Aramis is a third party, that means it's it must be extra Stranger. A tale you might have heard, ages old. Of the gifts of light granted by the traveler. So gifted by the light of traveler. We already know this. The traveler came to um, our well, the solar system to give and gave gifts, many gifts that the civil light that the humanity pretty much needs. Of the terror of darkness. And obviously the darkness made the first collapse. We already know this because, yeah, the golden age kind of ended. The whole remnant of humanity is the golden age that kind of died out thanks to the uh, darkness coming on. Brought forth by the pyramids. Yeah. And of the Elixni. And obviously the Elixni, or the Fallen, I, I just remember their name is called the Elixni. But yeah, the Elixni, which is what is now known as the Fallen, are, yeah, they, they had the travel before us. They came to their solar system, gave gifts, and then it suddenly just vanished up. The whole great wind is the the traveler going away. The great machine god, according to the uh, the, the Lixney. Blessed by the traveler with great prosperity. Great prosperity. Until it abandoned them. And that's why they're they're in our solar system, pretty much. They just came because hoping that the traveler comes back to them and gives them powers again and gives them prosperity. Sorry. This ongoing war between light and dark would bring a similar fate to our doorstep. Humanity's collapse, but in its wake, the birth of guardians. So yeah, the first collapse kind of destroyed humanity pretty much. It, it, there was nothing left really for us, um, other than, yeah, just not nothing in general. But sad, um, in, its, in its final moment, before the traveler kind of went into coma, this is the whole Destiny 1 story, is Guardians came along. They gave birth to ghosts, and then the ghosts gave powers to Guardians. And then the Guardians, you know, as us, 
is trying to defend the solar system pretty much because after the collapse it gifted you with light yeah light light as in the three sub th th three classes a second chance for our kind but we were not the only ones seeking second chances the fallen elixir came to take our gift yeah obviously the fallen are kind of jealous they're in a very jealous relationship it's like the ex trying to have a it's like the fallen and then the traveler were kind of in a relationship and then the traveler says yeah you're too much for me so i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna dump you and then suddenly the jealous boyfriend slash girlfriend goes like yeah i want to be in a relationship so fuck you but you defended it yeah, and then we completely destroy the fallen um, forces, and they become kind of kind of like the fallen that we know. They're the pirate race. Um, they're remnants of what they were because they just fell terribly. They were weak to begin with, but they got destroyed. I mean, that's what we know. For darkness's inevitable return, and return it has. This time with its own gift granted to Aramis. A survivor. And yeah, the darkness. So I'm really curious. What I'm curious about is we know that there is pyramid ship in the moon. Um, the whole hive are uh, worshiping that, right? And at below, kind of below the the red keep, right? But yeah, obviously now we know that there's another one in Europa, and in Europa, well, Aramis claimed that. Of the elixir's fall. And now, a wielder of darkness against our traveler. What I'm really curious about is, it's like Fife, um, very good lore person, YouTuber, content creator. So I suggest um, looking into him, but he breaks this down a lot. Like, holy shit. Like, but anyway, so this might be what the darkness are, are going to look like, my guess. I don't know. Look at it. It looks pretty human figure. That's the head, draped over with a curtainy, ghostly figure with the the chest area right there, and then the shoulders right there going like that, and then like she's like something like that, you know? None of us will and that's obviously Eris more. Unless we find truth beyond the tale. Truth beyond the tale. And wield this dark gift ourselves. Our very existence depends on it. What I'm curious about is what the traveler will do. Right? What What are they thinking? What is the traveler thinking? Because clearly we kind of went away. Yeah. So wait, what I'm really curious about is if I go to Bungie website now. Is there any news based around it? So yeah, there's no there's no news basically all around here, so we don't know. But yeah, pretty much that's really much it. Like we know, I mean, this is already a story that we know. It's been told many times over by lore junkies or well. Chronicles, if you want to say in that and some in other in other words, but that's pretty much really it. We know the whole Aramis situation. She kind of said, "Fuck the traveler, screw you," because you kind of dicked us over and you're not even accepting us. So, we're like, yeah, I'm moving on. I'm signing with your with your rival, the darkness. Yeah, I'm in bed with them now. That's pretty much it. Like, yeah, we're fucking. <laughs> That's pretty much it. We're fucking, and he get and he cares a lot more of, more than you, traveler. So screw you and your light. But I'm I'm with the darkness now, and obviously I don't know the whole story of how we're gonna get the darkness. Obviously we're gonna have to read it because for some reason we don't know yet. But I'm guessing it's important, especially what's happened on yesterday's live event where another. Another Thanos app from the um, Almighty Trouble, like, 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 I can't do a snap, but yeah, kind of like that. 
But yeah, pretty much. It's that's pretty much it, guys. Obviously, it's just around the corner. I'm like so close. You could literally taste it in the air, like, like you know, like like how Snake does it. Like they they like flick their tongues out and then they taste the air around it and they go like, "That's where it is. That's my prey." Something like that. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully in this video and yeah, I'm going to be live for today because you know why You know why I'm live <laughs> There's no reason why you won't know But hopefully you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you then Bye